Hi, this is yours, Abdul Bharatiya, and welcome to another episode of TFR. Let's talk. And today we have with us once again Barack Schuster, Senior Director and Chief Architect at Palo Alto Networks. Barack, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here again, Swap. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. And today we are mostly going to talk about Jakov's, uh, you know, you, you, you folks are introducing developer first CI CD uh, security there. But before we jump into this specific discussion, I would love, you know, to talk quickly about Chekhov itself. So talk about it. So Chekhov originally started as a static analysis tool for infrastructure code, giving you the ability to scan Terraform, Kubernetes manifests, and other manifests in your development pipeline on every stage of development as a pre-commit hook, in your ID, in your CI, and also in your CD. And we're introducing a new feature to secure the pipeline itself, which we can talk about more. Depending on who we talk to, uh, the way we look at it could be seen differently. We can call it CI slash CD, CI, CD, CI, and CD, CI, or CD. So when I ask you, how do you look at it? So the way that I look at it, CI is the step where you will have unit tests. In some cases, you will also have provisioning into a staging environment. CD is the piece that takes the provisioning using secrets that has access to a cloud environment or to a Kubernetes cluster and will deploy a portion of your application into a live environment. It can be used for integration tests, but the CD piece is meant for a continuous deployment and not integration of small pieces or unit tests or small pieces. CD systems would be systems like Terraform Cloud, GitHub Actions in some cases, um, CodeFresh, and Argo CD, for example. Excellent. Thanks for explaining that. Now, that kind of built a foundation for the next question, which is, uh, can you also talk a bit about the importance of security in CI CD pipeline and you know why you felt the need to introduce these uh, policies now in Chikov so the question is what keeps devops up at night and what keeps security up at night and the main thing that you'll care about is public instances in the cloud and instances that are overprivileged often cd servers and CD agents are overprivileged because they need access to secrets to provision a new application version into a production environment. So we have a sensitive server called the CD agent. It has admin privileges or access to secrets, and it needs that. The question is, how do we secure it? An engineer can commit a malicious code that will utilize the overprivileged access to provision bad actors into a live environment, to edit code, to extricate code or secrets. And the different attacks related to wrong access controls mechanisms in the version control system and in the CI system. Lack of reviewers of pull requests and code changes. Pipeline poisoning attacks, the ability to inject bad command lines through GitHub issues or whatever issue system that you're using into your CI and from there getting access of an admin service account. And some other attacks that the main risk with them is that if you get remote code execution or get overprivileged access to a CI system, you'll find yourself um, a system with a system that is easily abused by a malicious actor. There is also pieces that were added um, using Salsa compliance and CIS compliance, which talk about system integrity and artifacts integrity. And those are related to attacks that we've seen in the past three years used on um, SolarWinds or used by using the code code, code base on CI pipelines of tens of thousands of companies. I want to talk about security in general. We, the discussion on security is increasing, focus is also increasing. And we are also talking a lot about software supply chain security. And actually, this is the most important topic because we uh, you know, 
consuming a lot of consumer using depending on you know how you get involved a lot of open source so understanding software supply chain is also important but the fact is that as you were saying you no know, developers are already busy you know there are so many things they have to do uh, you don't want to keep them awake at night in the morning itself so we have to make things easier and you don't want to make you know them to worry about software supply chain as well so so can you also talk about how does this approach by you know ci cd security helps with improving the the supply chain uh, security posture as well sure so software is built like a car and it has a lot of vendors that are used when you're creating a, a software so instead of wheels you'll have open source components instead of engine you'll have your infrastructure as code but you have also the robots and the mechanics that build and wraps everything together let's think of this piece this factory of cars as our ci cd tool chain and when we talk about supply chain security we talk about all of the layers that make our application or car but when we talk about securing the supply chain itself the pipeline itself we talk about blocking the attacks that we talked about on your previous question making sure that changes to either artifacts to version control system configuration or to the workflow file themselves are not making our factory vulnerable and as a result making our car or software vulnerable too so when we think about securing the supply chain itself it's really in other words securing the pipelines with the pipelines themselves and i want to go back to the point that we're talking about making it easier for developers uh, so can you also talk about uh, first of all role of developers in making sure that the pipelines are secure but at the same time how would you make it easier so that developers are rest assured that hey you know what whatever they are doing it is making sure things are secure so we talked about Chekhov. Chekhov is an open source tool. It's free for use and it's as simple as a pip install command or a docker pull command of the Chekhov docker image. And you can also use the IDE extension. And as a developer, you can use very easily those tools in two minutes of installation and scan the changes that you're doing to workflow files as soon as you write them. So one thing would be put Chekhov in your IDE anytime you're editing your GitHub Action workflow, CircleCI workflow, GitLab Runner workflow, and others, you'll get an augmented team member, virtual team member named Chekhov, telling you, hey, in line 14, you forgot to ensure that you are not vulnerable to shell injection attacks. This is one example. Another example would be to put Chekhov on a weekly scheduled basis, scanning your version control system configuration, making sure your organization have the minimum requirements like branch protection rules, making sure that you don't have too many admins, making sure you have SSO, 2FA, et cetera, configured, and you don't have any drifts from best practices of the supply chain itself. And instead of reading large documents like the CIS for supply chain or large documents like the Salsa compliance, you can just use a tool that will automate that process for you. Now, as you're talking, the this new CICD security policies, they work across a number of uh, partners, including GitHub and CircleCI. Uh, did uh, custom policy kind of need to be written for, uh, rewritten for each partner separately or is just one? So when you're downloading Chekhov, you have a lot of best practices coming out of the box with it. So usually you won't have to configure anything or to do any custom changes to make sure that you have best practices on each of those vendors. But if you like to have a specialized policy, for example, making sure you have five reviewers for any change related to database that is containing credit card data, you can create a new custom policy that will ensure that you have that process defined on your version control system. And you can have a schedule mechanism that will check that there are no drifts 
in any day of that specific configuration. What will be some of the policies uh, that will users will get, you know, out of the box with Chekhov? 2FA, SSO, reviewers, code owners. Those are the basic hygiene stuff that I would start with. And you'll get those policies together with Chekhov. The more complicated policies that you'll get with Chekhov is making sure that you don't have curl commands that are exploiting passwords out. You don't want a bad agent to exploit passwords from your CD system. Another one would be making sure that you have sanitization of inputs from GitHub issues title so malicious command will not be injected through the GitHub issue title. Another one is making sure that you have open source library scanning, infrastructure as code scanning, and SBOM report generation. And you have various additional policies that are coming out of the box also with it. Can you also talk about how uh, people can, you know, start using it? You know, uh, what is the best way to uh, to check it out? Yeah, so the best way that I'll start is with the Bridge Crew website where you can read the blog on how to use Chekhov to check for pipeline security or supply chain security best practices. You'll get into a blog where it says you can start using using pip install, JetBrains ID, VS Code ID, CI pipelines, or any other way, or even the SaaS Bridge Group platform that will ease the way of deploying such policies across all of your orgs, across all of your CI pipelines um, within one or two minutes. One thing to add is a big disclaimer on the responsibility of who needs to secure the CI system. It's not the vendor's responsibility. Circle CI, GitHub Action, Bitbucket, GitLab, all of them are giving us, the engineers, the tools to have a secure pipeline. Some of the work needs an attention from a DevOps admin to be configured correctly and to be secured by default. So it is the responsibility of the DevOps engineer within our organization to secure those pipelines and not the responsibility of the vendor. That's the shared criteria between vendor and customer of CI pipelines. And this is where Bridge who can help you to automate that process and audit it. We live in a cloud that you know where mostly hyperscalers we use. And somehow a lot of users feel that cloud is a magical place. When you move to the cloud, suddenly all your problems are gone. Yes, you can scale easily, elasticity is, is there, flexibility is there, but you still have to worry about security and a lot of things. So can you also kind of demystify it that just because you moved to a cloud, that does not mean you don't have to worry about all these things? Uh, obviously. So let's say that it's my first day in AWS. I'd like to provision a new three-tier web application. I'll probably go to the web interface, click on the EC2 console and create a new server, but that's not enough. It is my responsibility as engineer to configure encryption, WAF protection, and other security best practices, and also reliability best practices, like having backup, redundancy, logging and auditing. And it is the responsibility of the engineer to configure those systems on the cloud providers and the same for CI providers. And BridgeCrew can actually help with both, securing and auditing the cloud environment, the infrastructure code, and the CI pipelines themselves. Barack, thank you so much for taking time out today. And of course, talk about Checo CI, CD, security, and also share all those insights uh, to ensure that, first of all, developers are doing it right. And also understand that, hey, this is your responsibility, not someone else's. So thank you for sharing those insights. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much.